we'll continue on with uh, the Laker offseason and how it's going. So uh, it's going we'll great. start off with <laughs> the graphics that we grabbed and pulled from Twitter today. So go ahead. Next clip. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. great. <laughs> That's great. D underscore Portia <laughs> underscore zero. Rob Plinka right now. And it's uh, the Leonardo DiCaprio Django <laughs> clip where he's like about to sip from wine. But it's obviously Photoshopped with Plinka's head on it. It's Photoshopped? <laughs> <laughs> we could go to the next one. <laughs> this is from at Count on Vic. <laughs> Rob Blake is showing Jeannie another uh, Lakers signing, and it's uh, Brad Pitt and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's great. <laughs> it almost kind of looks like a like almost like if that if Jeannie's Leonardo DiCaprio, she's gonna like you spent how much now? Oh no! Wait, what? <laughs> I gotta rethink my finances. It's like Moneyball. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> that turned into like, like uh, ah. once upon a time in Hollywood to Moneyball real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, oh, that's awesome. I love this one. Yes. So, I forgot the screen handle. I'm sorry, but you can look him up at America's oh, Musty. That's probably a dragon, uh, 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 a Dragonfly Jones. That is him. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for the credit right there. I recognize the, the Grand Manure that he has on there. Right? <laughs> so, wait, go back. I didn't read it yet. <laughs> uh, the haters last week. And I love the fact that it's trademark. The haters <laughs> trademark. <laughs> <laughs> they give up death shooting and spacing for Russ. Laugh my ass off. Good luck with a bunch of crying emoji. And Rob Palenka. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's practically Sting from the 90s. If you remember, he's oh, up in yeah. the catwalk yeah. looking over everything. I love that. That's great. I was, I was talking uh, to Dan, Dan Duando, and he was telling me how Rob moves in silence. And that's why it's like you can't, you know, just because they're quiet doesn't mean they're not doing anything. I mean, who expected, like, these last two days where it's just it's been Laker news. Just crazy, like, yeah. just, he's... They're going nuts. It's crazy. It's great. There's as many signings as the baby's losing gigs. Like every yeah. time you refresh your phone, you know, a new signing, he's losing gigs. That's that's how I see it, man. It's crazy. <laughs> well, I will say this. Okay, so as much as he moves in silence, it makes you think about the media and in terms of like the noise with all the rumors and oh, all yeah. the players oh, yeah. before this week that were rumored to come to yeah. the Lakers. And so yeah. it's just like, okay, like, do we have thirty Roster spots available because that's how many people are <laughs> practically about to come over. Who else Seriously. wants to sign with the Lakers? Come on down. That's what I feel like at this point. It's, I got uh, three minutes of game left in me. I'm 45, <laughs> but I can make it happen. And Yo, I, you got three kids. So <laughs> you, you, got, you need to provide for them. I, yeah, Daddy got to make some money. You know? yeah, I, I, like people were even like uh, on Twitter. I saw they were posting a picture of Magic in the Laker jersey. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah so like, they signed with Magic again. I mean, at this point, it's like I yeah, might as well, but you know. <laughs> I posted it today. won't affect the median of the age, you know, that's on the squad right now. So. <laughs> it'll, make the, it'll, it'll make the rest of the squad look younger. They're like, hey, <laughs> it's like, hey, there you go. They got a 50-year-old, but everyone else is 30. Oh, okay, that sounds better. <laughs> you know, LeBron's not that old. Yeah, he's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> which, which makes me feel old because I'll be 38 this year. I'm like, really? Is oh, that? Is that? I, I know. <laughs> I know. 45, man. <laughs> Do you look great for 45? Thank you know, you. black don't crack. You know how that goes. <laughs> you know I look Latino. I get it all the time. Yeah, I was yeah. Just saying, <laughs> one of us. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Especially in the just, baseball jersey. Yeah, we, like, orale, pues, there you go. Yeah, just a lighter shade. That's What's all. Up, That's it. <laughs> You're like, you can pass for Dominican, right? Oh, 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 <laughs> I get Dominican, Cuban, Puerto Rican. I get all that all the time. Oh, I'm sure. But I'm half white. There so, you go. Yeah, mama's oh. Irish. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, so you eat good then? Oh, I, see it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a neck and four chins. Come on now. <laughs> we'll continue on with uh, the additions. Obviously, we talked about uh, old faces coming back, and yeah. day one free agency brought back a familiar face who that? mentioned it on Ooh. Instagram. Dwight Howard's put in his caption, let's run it back with two trophies, and then he hashtagged it, I want my parade, damn it. That, that's the best. <laughs> like, that, like the fact that it's like you could tell he just wants – I mean, we all wanted Dwight back, and the fact yeah. that he's coming back, and he posted that. I feel that's going to be the theme this year is I want my parade, mm -hmm. damn it. And he was wearing a Black Mamba jersey in the photo. He was ready it. for it? Yeah. I'm <laughs> sure if he, maybe if Dwight shot it, he would have made it, but, you know, not Danny. <laughs> not Danny Green. <laughs> not Danny. <laughs> Look, I got into an argument yesterday because somebody was, like, trying to defend Danny. Oh, um, go on. I was making jokes yesterday, mm. like, Matt on the Fear Lake. Should have yeah. blocked him. Somebody, well, somebody, they weren't following me, so I'm like, okay. And then I looked at their bio, said professional writer. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. It's one of these people, right? So he started like commenting back at me and going like, why do you think LeBron, I was like, why? I asked him, I was like, why do you think LeBron got rid of Danny? And he was like, oh, what? So Danny's not more of an individual and decides uh, that LeBron can't sign a contract for him. I'm like, oh. first off, LeBron 
traded his ass. Him and Polinka traded his ass to OKC, and then OKC, <laughs> who's rebuilding, was like, "We don't even want your ass." So he <laughs> traded him to Philly. What, what, what does that tell you? Like, what does that what, say what, about what, Danny Green? I mean, <laughs> like, unfortunately, you know, they always say someone's trash is someone's treasure, but it turns out, you know, trash. This trash isn't recyclable. Pretty much, it's like, <laughs> no, just take it to the dump. We just don't want it either. He's like the Robert Ori that wins the chip but doesn't make the shot. Does that make sense? One hundred percent. Yeah, I, yeah. He, he's yeah, he's bizarro Robert Ori. He's, yeah. <laughs> Instead of making them, he misses them and still gets a ring. Yeah, <laughs> he's the guy in the class project. You know, the group, the class group that that doesn't do any work and still gets an A. That's him, Danny Green. Yeah, yeah. and he takes a picture with the award like this. He yeah, <laughs> look what I didn't earn. <laughs> and then, of course, we got to talk about the subtraction. <sighs> So man, might, so uh, I just want to share Alex Caruso's tweet that he posted last oh, night when he man. announced that he was going to the Chicago Bulls. Ugh. We'll never forget my time in LA and the hashtag Lake Show <laughs> fans. Y'all loved me before. It was cool. Purple heart, green or yellow heart. Genuine love for all of y'all. Mm. Dude, that was that one hurt. <sighs> I don't think we could play this because I'm putting it on YouTube and YouTube will flack us. <laughs> <laughs> How about if we sing the Sarah McLaughlin song? The arms of an angel. <laughs> oh, yeah, can Nobody. we do a karaoke version of this song? <laughs> I posted uh, the highlight package yesterday and uh-huh. I put the crossroads. <laughs> oh, dude, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so you at the crossroads. <laughs> so you up and lonely. I, I miss Car- everybody. <laughs> yeah, I miss Caruso, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Living in a hateful world where it's no way we know. Living in a hateful world. Oh, okay. Man. It still hurts, but it's damn. I, that's the one Laker I did not want to see leave. Yeah. I mean, I, I think everyone in Los Angeles felt the same way. He got a, a huge following. Dude plays defense out of his mind. He has he has bunny hops. Scraps. Oh my god. And see him like I, I had to like look at it three or four times. Like he really went to Chicago. Get your money, get your money, but damn, Lakers, y'all couldn't retain him? Like, at that, all? I guess that, that's the head scratcher because everyone's like, we could have, yes. but they just kind of dropped the ball. 100% dropped the ball on that one. Well, it was like uh, they were trying to offer him a mid level exception, right? So, it, like, it would have been mm. five to six million, somewhere in that range of like what yeah. they were going to pay him. And then he was just like, I'm just going to go with four years, which is more guaranteed for him. Right. And at least around above ninety nine million a year. Yeah, of course. Which yeah. is still like, I mean, you know, maybe give him a couple of years, things don't work out. We couldn't possibly retain him again. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. So it's it's tradable. Look, I think okay. This again with Westbrook, it's cool. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> But I just think this could all backfire. It, I, Absolutely. I want it to work. Trust me. Like, yeah. I want this to work, but it could easily backfire. Like, originally, I don't know if you if you were on this on this uh, ship, but I kind of wanted that Lowry uh, DeRozan Oh, yes. I wanted that so <laughs> I know you wanted, I wanted it. it. No, I, I wanted that. I wanted that, too. Yeah. I wanted that, too, and it didn't happen. When I saw, you know, they went their separate ways, Miami and Chicago, I'm like, why? Why couldn't we got them? Instead, we get Bazemore. <laughs> Which, Why? which he wasn't that bad. I mean, he's he averaged what last year? Like, tw- uh, wait, did he even average twenty? I, I was trying to look at his box score from For last who? year. Uh, Bazemore. Mm. Oh no, he didn't it's, it's average not, twenty. Not, but no, like, not even on maybe. NBA two K. I, I think it, there was a season that he did. That's why it's been a minute since I've yeah. actually like. Well, up. yeah, he, it was like a contract year, and he balled out. You <laughs> yeah, know, and then the Lakers did. were going after him. Instead, he goes to Portland, doesn't do anything there. That's what it was. Yep. I think uh, it was on the Hawks too. He was he was balling out. Yep. Too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He did. The team that put came Bazemore on the map. Was the Los Angeles Lakers? Absolutely, yeah. I remember. Yeah, he was like ranked 500th, which I didn't know <laughs> that was even a possible ranking for an NBA player to be on a roster team. Wow! But wow, if you want to look back at the story, Camp Bazemore was ranked like 500th as a player in the NBA, mm. and then that year when the Lakers like found out the news, like they kept playing him, and like he just shined to the occasion. So wow. I, I mean, like he made a name, he carved a name for him, and then he went to Golden State afterwards. But like. This is kind of like a new beginning for him to where he could probably find a way to get a championship. And Ken Bay's more 2021 stats, points 7.2, rebounds 3.4, <laughs> assists 1.6, PR 10.68. Did I mention I'm drunk and I didn't <laughs> read it right? I'm Mike sorry. Mike on it. Look at that. <laughs> uh, but can you find out what his highest scoring year was? I want to say it was like 14 maybe, maybe? Mm. I could have sworn he was averaging more than that. I oh, know. I got it right here. Uh, Atlanta, 2017. He was averaging about 13 points oh, in the game. Mind. Oh, no. Lakers, 13.1. Mm. Uh, but that was with 23 games that he played that year. Yeah, 2013-2014. <laughs> yeah. So, like, one game, he had, like, 30. 
And yeah, because like, yeah, he would ball. But hey, it's only one year though that he signed him for, right? Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. there we go. He could ball out. Point with house money there. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Mid level exception, one year. If he does great, fine. Give him a contract. If not, hey, thanks for your services. Peace out. You know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's a, it's a, it's good for the Lakers. Uh, how do you feel about Andre Drummond and Dennis Schroeder? <laughs> Well, Dennis Schroeder has finally left, but Andre Drummond is now going to the Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, when it comes to subtractions, mm-hmm. oh. I, Alex Caruso is the heartbreak, but everyone else, you're like, uh-huh, okay, oh, well, yeah. like, right? Yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah, with Drummond? Drummond, like, I loved him when he played for Detroit. He was my favorite yeah. player because he was, he was pulling down boards. You know, they were calling him the next Dennis Rodman with offense. He just did not fit with the Lakers. Like, it, he just looked lost out there. and No direction. So, you know, he, now he's with the Sixers now, so good for him. You know, he just wasn't a good fit. I, I, I'm i kind of glad he's gone, to be honest. Yeah, uh, uh, we had a guest, uh, Anthony Irwin, uh, over there at, uh, on, uh, what was he, Silver, Silver Screen? Screen? Yeah, he's Silver he's Screen. He's now with Silver Screen. Yeah, he's, he has so many shows now and so many websites. I was like, wait, where is he at now? Love you, Anthony. <laughs> but he, I know he was not a fan of and, uh, Andre Drummond, and uh, he kind of opened my eyes a little bit about yeah. it because I was like, oh, yeah, because I remember him in Detroit. So that's yeah, what I was thinking. He's like, he's like, dude, he's not going to fit. And I was just kind of watching him. Of course, we experienced him, and I was like, yeah, he was kind of right. It just looked like it just – it, it, he just looked like he just looked lost out there. Like he just didn't know what he was doing. So I okay. I to the point was he better than Marcus All? Absolutely. Yes. I think Andre Drummond just needed more time to gel with the players, and so it was like he was only here for like what four months? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that long. No, about yeah. four months. Yeah. So it's just like he needed more time, and like uh, he spent three months at least playing basketball because it was like it came in March, mm-hmm. April, and then May was when they played the playoffs with against the Suns so like he was here for like maybe three months or yeah. so I think if he had more time under his belt he would have been better situated it's just like it was a bad impression and then everything he said off season wise didn't yeah, really help it didn't help him stay. at all and you know he's expendable at that point it's like you're gonna bad mouth us all right fine just yeah, kick rocks were you aware that he was selling uh some uh his that was an nft it was uh, yeah, his his NFT. N- oh. that did you hear about that no, his internet property for like forty five grand, and then like the highest bid was like sixteen dollars. <laughs> I mean, what what does that tell you? It tells Mr. you Drummond. that nobody cares <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah, 